nations. I will tell of your name, your name, of your name to my king. Alleluia. And so we gather, and we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit will be with you all, and my dear spirit. So just to, to welcome you to Mass this morning, I, I hope you had a, a good night, and that you're doing okay. We're, a few of the things we're remembering, we're remembering lots of things as always, so I know today, sadly, there's a few moves of, of Scott and Mary Colbert, so we, we think of Scott and his family, and Joe and Mary Colbert, and we think of Carl and uh, Kira and Ina and Amy and Connor, so we, we think of all those families. We're asking you uh, also to keep Dahi in your we have Dahi's uh, a young boy from what I have a photo of his family here but we moved over from St. Anthony just to have on the altar as we think of Dahi and his family unfortunately Dahi was knocked off his bike yesterday and he's in Dublin so we're just praying really hard and we'd ask you to keep praying uh, for him and hoping for him and his family so we keep Dahi in our prayers and journey today as well and then there's a, a few birthdays there there's mary is birthday today and pat and joseph so uh joseph now is not eight then so it's the youngest of the all uh so we, we send out a uh, birthday greetings to mary and pat and then joseph and his, his parents dahi and Maeve and all the family so there are some of the people we remember and we, we uh, i know greta and pat murphy ollie manning's and Clacton and C uh, are watching it, so we send our greetings to them. And we begin, as always, uh, by letting go of our faults and failings. And on the subject of faults and failings, I have to mention Conal Connery. They left a lovely piece of uh, pie and cake at my door, so thank you for that for Conal. But on the note, you won't be able to see it, he's put up Liverpool. I don't know, Conal. So, and when do we begin Mass? We usually include the, our mistakes. So, support and live with has to be a sin of some sort, I'm sure. A money lesson. But thanks, Conal. Still haven't tracked down your picture, but we will keep them. So, but we do let go of our faults and failings. And we say, Lord, you are the light in our darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the strength in our weakness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are the calm in our storm. Lord have mercy. So uh, we, I nearly forgot to light a candle and I light it here beside the picture of Dahi's family as we remember Dahi and we pray. I light a candle and suddenly the world around me changes. One small flame is all it takes to let the darkness know that it cannot win. So we pray for light. And as always then we, we pray our opening prayer. So we take a moment, think of what prayer or person you want to give to God in today's Mass. And so we give you and we give your prayers to God as we pray, as we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love, and we ask that through Christ our Lord. And so the first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, and again showing how uh, Jesus uh, was with his disciples even in their difficult moments, so we pray for the grace to trust that. The high priest intervened with all his supporters from the party of the Sadducees, prompted by jealousy. They arrested the apostles and had them put in the common jail. But at night, the angel of the Lord opened the prison gates and said as he led them out, Go and stand in the temple and tell the people all about this new light. They did as they were told. They went into the temple that dawn and began to preach. When the high priest arrived, he and his supporters convened the Sanhedrin, this was the full senate of Israel, and sent to the jail for them to be brought. But when the officials arrived at the prison, 
they found that they were not in sight, so they went back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the warders on duty at the gates. But when we unlocked the door, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard this news, they wondered what this could mean. Then a man arrived with fresh news. At this very moment, he said, the men you imprisoned are in the temple. They are standing there preaching to the people. The captain went with his men and fetched them. They were afraid to use force in case the people stole the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the response to the psalm is uh, a response we, we kind of have all at our hearts today, especially for Dahi. It says, this poor man called and the Lord heard him. So that's our response. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in the Lord. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. So I suppose we really pray that the response today, praying that God will hear our prayers, as I say, especially for Dahi and then for Gerard, who we remember today, and all those people we remember. And, and so we have the acclamation. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already because he's refused to believe in the name of God's only son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we bring our prayers to God. And just as the disciples were imprisoned and freed um, by the Spirit and led out by an angel of the Lord as such, we pray for those who feel sort of imprisoned or locked in. Uh, I suppose in this time of lockdown, people do feel locked in on lots of fronts. And sometimes not just physically, but imprisoned by our fears or anxiety or sickness or worry. We ask God to free us and unlock our hearts and delight in the love that's in our hearts. Lord, hear us. 
Lord graciously hear us. The sound, like I said, it said, this poor man called and the Lord heard him. We call out to you today, Lord. We call out to you for Dai and Jared and Jarlene and, and Dennis and Noel and Rosie and Ferris, Jerry and so many people, Phil and Mary, all those we've been remembering and Aaron and, and Lucas and all you. So we call out to you, Lord, on behalf of many people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. It said, behind all of this story is love. It said, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. We pray for the grace to trust in that love. And we pray God's love will bring us healing and peace and strength. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so it talked about light person of God kind of walks in the light. We pray for light. We pray that we'll be a light for others. We pray for those whose light is under siege and it because of sickness or worry or anxiety. We pray for those doctors and nurses and carers and pharmacists and therapists and all those who work on the front line uh, being a source of light. We thank God for them. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. And we remember all those who have gone before us. So we think of all those who have died. We, we think of James Walsh. We, we think today of, of Mary Colbert. And we think of Scott. And uh, uh, yesterday those funerals of Timmy Butler and Mary Brennan. So we bring all who have gone before us to God. And we pray eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And may perpetual life shine upon them. And may they rest in peace. So we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we bring our prayers to God and pray, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. It's the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. It's the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you. The thing that we offer you. The Lord, bless the Lord of all the earth, our children, thy mercy is. And so we pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and lift up uh, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your children. And so with all the angels and saints, with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brendan, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also Scott and Mary and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we pray our family prayer, and whenever we pray our family prayer, we're conscious of family who are suffering or sick or struggling. So we think of them. As I say, we think of Dottie, we think of Jared today, we think of Mike and Geraldine and Rosie and all those we, we pray for. So we put all the family in God's hands as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. And we pray for peace, peace in our hearts, in our relationships, in our lives. So we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And so, may that peace of the Lord, I wonder what the crackle is about, sorry, uh, may that peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of that peace, or pray for that peace for each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And so we pray, behold Jesus, gospel it said God so loved the world that he gave his only son so behold Jesus that gift of love behold the Lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only 
say the word, and my soul shall be. And so we make a spiritual communion where sadly I know you can't receive physically, but you can receive spiritually, and we're all connected spiritually, connected to Dottie and his family and Jared and all those who are sick and all well, connected to each other, the depths of ourselves and God. So we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. And so uh, we play a piece of, of music as you enter into that uh, holy communion, at the spiritual communion. Remember me, God, I come every day just to walk, talk with you, Lord, and to learn how to pray. You make me feel welcome, you reach out your hand. I never need explain, for you understand. I come to you frightened and burdened with care, so lonely and lost and so filled with despair. And suddenly, Lord, I'm no longer afraid, my burden is lighter and the shadows fade. Oh God, what a comfort to know that you care to know when I seek you, you will always be there. from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. So just to thank you for being with us. Uh, for those who have to go on your way, we hope you have a good day. Uh, we'll have the stations, we'll pray the stations after Mass. And then this evening we have the rosary at half five and night prayer at 9.30 for those, as I say, who would like to join us. Again, we would implore you to keep Dahi and his family in, his prayer, in your prayers and all those who are sick and unwell. And Greta and Pat Murphy and Clacton on Sea, we send our, our greetings to you. So we pray now, more importantly, the Lord be with you all and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and keep us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. We'll go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I'll just come down and uh, hopefully readjust your, your line of vision for a second and put up the stations of the cross. So you have to bear with me just for a moment. Every day we're adjusting something in the hope that uh, you can see things better. Please God. So that's the hope. So there we go. There's Noah's hopes. Don't fall, Noah. Good man. And now we'll bring you in a little closer. Now, and we continue to remember all those people that you are praying for. Oh God, I, I, what I'll do is I'll do a little lowering of the camera 
So, uh, there. Sorry, now hold on to your rosary beads. So, at least hopefully you can see things clearly there. Please, God. Please, God. So, we pray the stations. And we, we pray, Lord, in walking this way of the cross with you, Help us to draw close and find and feel your love so true. As well as your suffering, may the love that we see encourage and inspire us to be the best we can be. We entrust you our crosses and the people we know, seeking healing and grace, seeking, seeking healing and peace, seeking grace as we go. So, the first sentence station, I've done it again, the first station is... Uh, drawn or uh, coloured in there by Noah, and it's Jesus being sentenced to death. So we thank Noah Culhan for sending this in, and it reminds us of all those who have been sentenced to death or are sick or unwell, and we pray for them. We we pray for those who feel that I suppose they they have received a sentence. Maybe it's because of the colour of their skin, their gender, or their sexuality, where they come from. We sadly condemn a lot of people to death in so many different ways. So we pray for those who are feeling that way today. We pray, oops, sorry, trying to straighten things up here. Uh, I haven't a straight eye. And we, we pray for them in this station. And we pray, at times life is tough and it can feel so unfair. At times we may wonder, does anyone care? May we try to be kind and never cause pain. May God uphold us both in our struggle and strain. And so we pray, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So thank you, Noah. And now we'll take your picture away there, Noah, we'll bring it close so you get to see. And the next picture that we have is your sister Olivia's and also Vicky Lee's. So I'll bring out Vicky Lee's is there as well. And both Vicky and Olivia have drawn Jesus been given his cross okay so sadly we all carry crosses some are, are visible to others some are known to us alone and we wish it wasn't so suffering is awful it robs us of our strength our hope our peace and our joy so let us try to lessen suffering wherever we find it and help us then to accept the crosses that cannot be changed Trusting that we're more resilient than we think and trusting that we're never alone in our suffering. So today we remember those carrying crosses. We remember the Dahi and all his family at this time and all those who are sick or unwell, those who are anxious or, or just struggling with life. We, we pray for them. And so we pray. Our lives are a mix of both sunshine and rain. We freely share our joy, but we often hide our pain. May we reach out to others struggling under a cross, and may God and others help us in our times of loss. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So, we, we thank you both, Vicky and uh, Olivia, for your pictures, and we hope you and all your families are well. The next one is Saoirse, uh, and Saoirse is drawn station three, where Jesus falls for the first time. So we thank you, Saoirse, for your picture. And we all fall. We all fall at stages. and It's sadly part of life. And we think of those who, who feel they're falling a little today. We're forced to the ground maybe because of life, work, college, relationships. It's never nice to fall. But while falling is part of life, getting up is a bigger part. So, Lord, remember those who fall today. Give us the strength to always rise up when we fall. And also, may we help others to their feet and encourage them when they fall. And we pray. None of us are perfect. We make many a mistake. Falling short of our best brings its own heartache. So may we be compassionate to others who fall. May God help us to rise and strive to stand tall. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, oh, oh sometimes it causes 
me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? So thanks very much, Sirsha. And people get a good look at the beautiful colouring you've done. And now what we have, we have Nisi Carol and Grania Mohali. And they've both coloured and drawn the station where Jesus meets his mother. So in this station, I suppose, to be on the side of that road and watch your son suffer, it's uh, impossible to get our heads around. So we think of mothers and fathers who, who are watching their loved ones who are sick. So again, we can't but think of Dahi and his family at this time. We don't know in this encounter was there any words spoken between Mary and her son. But I suppose a parent's love goes deeper than words. Whatever we go through, a parent's touch, a parent's look, a parent's presence helps us immeasurably on our journey. So in this station, we remember all mothers and fathers, especially those who, like Mary, are broken-hearted watching the suffering or death of a child, or broken-hearted because of the turmoil in their world or their family. So may God bless and strengthen mothers and fathers and give them peace. And so we pray. A parent's love is unwavering, so strong, so true, so deep. It feels a child's pain when they struggle, when they weep. Lord, draw close to parents and those struggling to cope. Bless and protect them and give them reasons to hope. Now, what we'll do is uh, we pray the fifth station. And so Nisha and Gronya, thank you very much. And now Nisha's sister, Ava, I should bring them in close so you get to see the beautiful artwork and the beautiful colouring. And this is Ava Carroll, so Nisha's sister. And it's where Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. So we all need help to carry crosses. Uh, and we pray, I suppose this station reminds us to never try and carry a cross on our own. May we be people who, in, in this very special way, kind of reach out to others and help them carry their crosses. And that's, uh, that's the hope. Adrian, I see the, the Keens, all in Kilflin, we hope you're all well. And we pray for, for people who are trying to carry a cross on their own. We pray that we will be people who, who never leave anybody carry a cross on our own. And we pray that we'll reach out and ask for help to carry our crosses. And so we pray. Simon was forced to help Jesus in his time of need, as to carry a cross alone makes one less likely to succeed. May we be a Simon to others and help them carry their load. And Lord, give us strength when we're struggling on the road. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And I just see, as I say, I sometimes see a name. So Adrian Keane, I, I wouldn't mind having your dad up here to do the singing for me. So say hello to your mum and dad and all the family. So Ava, that's Simon carrying his cross. Thanks a million, Ava. And then the sixth station, Sive. Uh, thank you, Sive Lyons, one of our, our great servers in Bulgadon who uh, recognised the gaps in my system and maybe recognise the fact that I may have lost Cahill Connery's station. Cahill, I'm not giving up on that. We will keep searching. But this is Veronica wiping the face of Jesus. And it's, it seems like it's, it's remembered forever because of the fact that, I suppose, Veronica stepped out of the crowd. She used what she had to hand. This station always reminds me of an Irish mammy armed with a tea towel. There's nothing a mammy couldn't do with a tea towel. So, we pray for those who, who, who step out of the crowd, use what they have to hand, and extend uh, a kindness. And so in this we pray that, for the grace to trust that a little kindness, both in word and deed, can and will make a big difference. And so we pray, Veronica stepped from the crowd using the little that she had. Trusting an act of love could transform a moment that was sad. From little acorns, great oaks grow, or so we have been told. Veronica reminds us that little acts are made of gold. So we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So just again a big thank you to Sive 
for, for uh, sending us in that. And the, we'll give you a close-up of the colouring. And as I say, backed on card, fair juice to you. And the next one is Billy Cosgrove. So, Billy, we think of you, we think of, we remember your dad, uh, Ambrose, and we, we hope you and, and your, your mum and Katie I hope, and your grandparents, we hope you're all well. So, in this station, it's where Jesus falls the second time. So, sometimes even with help, we fall again. Uh, and it can be harder to pick ourselves up. Falling down is one thing, but staying down is another. So irrespective of how often we fall, help us to always rise up. And even when we feel we can't, give us a desire to rise up. Help us to trust that with your help and the help of others, there's always hope. And that when we feel we're at the end of our resources, we can reach out to others. And so we pray for the grace to hold on tight, Lord, to you and to others in our times of difficulty. To fall down once again can cause us to despair, leading us to doubt our value, strength and prayer. May we reach out to all who have fallen to their knees. Lord, give us grace to rise up. Oh, please, Lord, please. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So, thank you very much, Billy. So that was Billy's as Jesus Falls the second time. And now we have Ali Lund. Ali, we thank you for your picture. And what Ali has drawn is Jesus meeting his um, yeah, Jesus meeting the women of Jerusalem. And I suppose this station reminds us he consoles the women. It says. So I wonder what he said. We kind of there he was in the midst of his his suffering, and in that suffering he could still reach out to others. So this station probably encourages us to always. Look out for women in particular, particularly in places in the world where they're not given the dignity and the respect that they're due. We pray this station will remind us to reach out to others, even when we're maybe not at our best. And sometimes reaching out to others helps us get through what we're going through. So, we fail to see, hear, and attend to the hurts of others, and we pray. Being full of ourselves leaves no room for others. It helps us to be, uh, sorry, being full of ourselves leaves no room for others. It stops us from being good sisters and brothers. Your hearts are heavy with your help from above. And in the midst of our, heart, our hurts, Lord, help us to love. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And so thank you very much, Ali. And as I say, that's Jesus meeting the women. And if you look close, you'll see the poor women are crying and Jesus consoling them. So thanks very much, Ali. And the next station that we have is NASA Hulahans. So NASA, thank you very much for uh, sending us your station. And this is the ninth station where Jesus falls a third time, but there's people helping him pick up the cross. So sometimes, despite our best efforts, we all fall. We fall into the same uh, sins and traps and mistakes. We wonder, will we ever be free of our suffering, compulsions, addictions, and bad habits? And we so think of families uh, living with addiction. It can be so hard and demoralizing to keep falling, and we may lose heart when times are tough. But Lord, help us to keep fighting the good fight, to keep picking ourselves up each time we fall, and rather than count the times we fall, help us to count the times we rise. And may we strive to help others to rise when they fall. And we pray. We repeat our mistakes and we can't but wonder, will our weaknesses always pull us asunder? While falling is tragic, it's worse to stay down. Lord, help us to rise up and turn our lives around. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Were you there when they laid him in a tomb? Were you there when they laid him in a tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in a tomb? 
So thank you, NASA, and give people a closer look at your lovely colouring, NASA. And we think of your mum, Audrey, and we remember your dad, Tony, and we think of all the family. So the, the next station, oh, I could have left you up, NASA. We don't have a tent station. Uh, Carl, <laughs> Carl, if you're looking for, uh, you know the way I'm looking for the station you sent in, but sure, if you wanted the tent station, uh, is, is, there's a vacancy there, you'd be fierce welcome. But don't send in any Liverpool messages on the back of it if you do get to do that. But anyway, this is when Jesus is stripped of his garments. So after all the physical suffering, we pray uh, for those who are stripped of their garments as such, stripped of their good name, their dignity, their worth. We pray that we won't do that to others, even when maybe we feel justified or angry or right. We pray then that rather than strip others of their garments or strip people of their good name and dignity, help us to instead clothe them with tenderness, love and compassion. We remember those in our world who feel shamed and exposed. We pray that they'll find acceptance, healing, strength and peace. And may we be people who clothe others rather than strip them of dignity and worth. And we pray, shaming and condemning seems okay when we're mad. Spiteful comments or online posts to make others feel bad. Bless those hurting in our world whose dignity has been stripped. Remind us of our worth when our sense of self has slipped. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So uh, now what we, we have Maya Lee's station in front of us. Again, another one of our great servers. So Maya has drawn Jesus being nailed to the cross. So we can't but wonder what that must have been like to have your hands and feet held down and nails driven through them. So we remember all those who are sick and suffering today with sickness and anxiety and worry and, and particularly innocent people in our world suffering, particularly children. People who feel nailed to crosses. St. Catherine of Siena said it wasn't nails but love that held Jesus to that cross. Well, we pray for love now for all those on crosses. We pray that in the depths of their hearts there will be a love that helps to ease the pain and, and help them in their sickness or isolation or loneliness. And so we pray. Sadly, sickness and suffering are part and parcel of life. Even Jesus faced difficulties and moments of strife. May we never be indifferent and ignore another's pain. Walk with us always, Lord, both in sunshine and in rain. So we just show you Maya's picture, a close-up. Thank you very much, Maya, and we hope all the leaves are well. And now we have three stations, three drawings in. I know there'll be a day when I'll probably just show one, but sure, for Katie, Jerry, and Emma, I haven't the heart to do that yet, so when that day comes, I hope you'll understand. But for now, we'll keep showing, as best we can, uh, your lovely artwork. And so we think of you and your families. And this is the moment Jesus died on the cross. And we can't but wonder again how that must have been. We know he cried out and said, My Lord, my Lord, why have you forsaken me? So we think of people who are dying today and those who die alone because of the, the virus. But I suppose, thankfully, in our great nurses and doctors and carers, nobody's dying alone. They mightn't be with their family, which is awful. So we think of the family of the sick. We think of those who are dying. And we pray for the grace to, to trust that nobody dies alone, that our love and prayers will be with them, as are the doctors and nurses. And so, we pray that their last breath will be a letting go of the limitations and struggles of life and an embracing of a life and a love and a peace that are beyond all telling. May they be held in love and prayer this time. And so we pray. Sadly, death is so final it robs us of those we love. May we trust they're at peace with God up above. Love is sacred and eternal and friendship is forever. May this love encourage us, Lord, to never say never. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And so we'll show you these pictures as we sing. Were you there when they raised him from the tomb? Were you there when they raised him from the tomb? Oh, 
Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they raised him from the tomb? Sorry, Jerry, I'll never make it as a goalkeeper. I happen to drop yours. So, now, the 13th station was sent in, thankfully, by Saif. And it's where Jesus is taken down from the cross. So the nails were prize free and your body was taken from the cross. May we always treat the body with great reverence and dignity, both in life and in death. May we always realize how sacred each person is and treat them from its life, and each life is from its earliest moment to our final breath. Wherever possible, we pray that we'll help people down from the crosses they are nailed to while there's still time. And we pray, we're made in the image and likeness of a God of love. Our sacredness and dignity comes from within and above. May we never doubt our worth. We have a dignity that's true. Lord, your spirit gives value to all we are and all we do. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Audrey, I just caught your name there. It's good to see you. I, we are here. Yeah. I hope you're all well. And say hello. To, to Nasa for us and your dad and, and all the Hulans and Griffins. And so this is Cahar O'Keefe from uh, Kilfinney. So we think of Cahar and the O'Keefe and the O'Neill families. And it's where Jesus is laid in a tomb. So, Lord, your followers were broken hearted and scared. Everything looked like a disaster and a failure and all their hopes and dreams are literally put to rest. So, Lord, Remember those in this station whose hopes and dreams have been shattered. Help us to always remain hopeful in the face of trials. Help us to trust that in life there's always more than meets the eye and that in the end it will be okay. And if it's not okay, well, for now, it's not the end. And so we pray. They say where there's life, there's hope, but I'm not so sure. Where there's hope, there's life seems more likely to endure. So may we try to give hope to both stranger and friend and help them to see that all will be well in the end. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. So, Cahar, you drew the cross and the tomb underneath. So thank you very much, Cahar. And the next picture we have, even though in theory there's only 14 stations, but uh, Fionn, our theologian, put in a 15th, because in some places in the world, if you're in Lourdes and various places, sorry, Cahar, or Fionn, uh, they, they, they have a 15th station. And it's Jesus rising from the dead to remind us that death is never the end of our human story, that there is always love is bigger than death. So we pray for that. Uh, and thank you, Jackie, for your kind. We'll keep trying anyway. We hope you and your father and family are well. And so we pray, Lord, in all the world religions, you're the only God who suffers, a symbol of your loving solidarity with us especially in our struggles and limitations, our loneliness and isolation, in our fear and anxiety. So, Lord, we've tried to walk with you this morning. May you walk with us. May we trust that you never leave us to face our struggles alone. And may your example strengthen and encourage us and help us on our journey. And so we thank you, Lord, for walking with us. And so we pray God's blessing on you all. Thanks for being with us. We hope you have a good day. We continue to keep Dahi and his family in our prayers. Just to let you know, on maybe our Facebook site, uh, or page, I probably shouldn't call it site, sorry, uh, and our website, uh, Jack O'Shea put together a booklet of, of Stations of the Cross, whereby people could colour a page, the, all the stations, and then write maybe people you want remembered in the stations, be it like the... the, the the nurses, the doctors, the guardy family, and so on and so forth. And so what you could do if anyone who'd want, you could find that on either the parish website or the Facebook page. Download it, colour it in, send it our way, and one day then we might pray the stations just using your booklet, if that makes sense. Anyway, thanks for being with us, and we pray, more importantly, the Lord be with you all and with your spirit. On this day, we ask God to enclose you and your family in the shelter of the love the light and the warmth of the Trinity. And may he bless you 
with his light and his love and his peace. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? So thanks for being with us. And we hope you have a good day and stay safe and stay well and stay home. And God bless.